So welcome back guys to We Talk Boxing. And today I'm going to be talking about the fight which took place on the weekend between Jai Apataya and Maid Maris Bredis. So this was the second time these guys have fought and this fight was pretty much similar how the first fight took place in both guys in pretty much a war between them. And it started off as, as if it was going to be a quite comprehensive victory for Jai Apataya. He was... By four or five rounds up, quite clearly, you know, I mean, in the lead, he didn't do too much. He didn't damage Bredis or anything. It was just a case where, you know, I mean, he just looked as if he was kind of controlling the fight, and looked as if like he was the one that was pressing to try and uh, make something happen out of any, like out of nothing really. Um, his jab was quite good in the earlier rounds. He looked like he was a, a different weight compared to Bredis as well, um, but obviously he wasn't. Um, but something happened in the, in the latter part of the fight where Marius Bredis obviously um, came back into the fight pretty much from out of nowhere. Um, and I'm, I can't remember which round exactly it was, but Bredis took a big shot from um, Jaya Pattaya and he kind of busted open his nose and his nose was pretty much a wreck really. Um, it was literally pissing down with blood. And from that point onwards, the corner must have said to him, obviously, you got to go out there, you got to win, you got to pull, you got to, you got to ask Jaya Pattaya questions, you got to, you got to rough him up. And that's pretty much what he did from that point onwards. And obviously, he, he made the fight a lot harder for Jaya Pattaya in the end and took it to him. And he was hurting Jaya Pattaya um, to the fact that, this was only, you know, what I mean, like this was a, a twelve-round fight. If there was any more rounds, let's say it was a fifteen-round fight, then potentially he may have could have got of could have got maybe Jaya Pattaya out there because Jaya Pattaya was look, he looks he was looking knackered. You know, what I mean, he was he was taking some big shots as well, and Breedis was 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 asking him some tough questions, but it wasn't to be. Obviously, it was a twelve-round fight and. Um, it was just a little too late from Marius Bredis from his point of view. Um, the judges, all all three of them saw it in one way, and that was weighing in, in, in the fact of Jaya Pattaya because one judge scored it 117-111, and the other two judges scored it 116-112. So all judges had it quite comprehensive for Jaya Pattaya. And he becomes... You know, I mean, a two-time um, cruiserweight champion by regaining his IBF belt, and that has pretty much put him instead now as in the Ring Magazine ratings as the Ring Magazine champion, the main man in the division again. But this fight asked asked him quite a lot of questions, and whilst a few pundits have said that maybe Jai Bataille is in the, the 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 most dominant cruiserweight out there because he he didn't look as good against Breedis. I would concur and say that Bredis would put pretty much, even at his his age, was he like 39 or something? Even at 39 years of age, would still ask a lot of the other heavy, uh, sorry, cruiserweight questions. You know, what I mean, the other champions like Billy Smith, if he was to fight him, he would ask him good questions as well. He'd probably make it tough for him. You've got um, Gilberto Ramirez, who recently won um, his WBA strap. He would ask him questions as well. So, um, Bredis is a tough, tough guy, and he would literally stick it on a lot of these other cruiserweights out there. Um, the only other cruiserweight which I'm kind of question marking against, and I feel as if this cruiserweight would probably get Bredis out there, would be Rich Riakpo. And reason being is because he's a big, big puncher. In terms of skill for skill, Bredis will probably out out match him for that in any, any day of the week because Breedis has got a lot of a lot of boxing skills. He's got a good good pedigree behind him. But Richie Biakpo's power is is pretty much like Deontay Wilder in the heavyweight division. It's very, very good. But yeah, um I still consider Jaya Pattaya the main man in the division, although Bredis made it hard for him and he made it hard and that he had to obviously work and um dig deep in this fight as they would say. But um, yeah, it'd be quite good now to see what happens with Jaya Pattaya. Um, is he going to look to try and um, take on some of the other world champions within the division to try and capture some of the other belts? We know that Chris Billum Smith is going to be taking on Richard Riakpour for that WBL strap soon. Um, obviously, Gilberto Ramirez recently fought. He fought against Arsene Gudemarian, and obviously he beat him to claim the WBA strap, so he may not fight anytime soon. 
Um, but that could be a fight that maybe Jaya Patai looks for maybe the latter part of the year to try and um, to unify a couple of the bouts. Or he could take on another German guy called Noel Miraklian or something like that. Um, he's got a WBC strap. So there's a couple of options there for um, Jaya Pattaya. But in terms of Marius Brevis, on the other hand, this is his third loss. But it's only his second fight in nearly two years. So he hasn't been active. But if he could get a good run of fights under his belt, let's say if he could go have another three or four fights, he could potentially be back up there. Because he showed that he's got, you know what I mean, the the will the willpower and the grit to to mix it with the best in the division at at this stage in in his career, um so yeah it'd be quite good to see him in some other good fights um as I said a lot of the fighters have already got fights lined up, but there's fights there in the future for like for the likes of Chris Ben Smith you got Ramirez maybe Richard Riappo. um yeah there's some good fights there for him but you guys can let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Who would you like Jaya Patel to fight next? And do you feel as if he needs to try and unify some of those cruiserweight belts? And what next for Marius Breedis? As always, guys, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Bless.